Well, hey guys, welcome back. I'm Jason Holcomb, afternoon announcer here at KMRS KKFK. And you know, over the past few months in these videos, I like to share some, you know, trivia about certain things, you know, uh, things I find interesting. And this month is no exception, and it's actually trivia about the month of May, because I always wondered, why is May called May? I never re really sat down to figure it out until right about now, because I was like, why is May? May, because in our language, English, uh, May is a pretty common word. We use it every day um, in any given situation. So I wanted to dig deep and find out why is May May? And I know other months uh, do have a Roman connection like June, July, August, Octo uh, September, October, November, uh, all have uh, Latin roots to it. So I wanted to find out about May. And if it, is it Latin? Well, actually, what I found out, it's Greek because it is named for Maya, or M-A-I-A, -A, or Maya, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's for the Greek goddess of fertility. Huh, that makes sense. Uh, May is uh, here in the Northern Hemisphere, the month of spring, well, in the Southern Hemisphere, you know how the weird hemispheres work. Um, it's actually, it's actually uh, autumn down there. And, it's kind of crazy. But also I found some other cool facts about the month of May, which I'm going to share with you. As uh, for the birthstone of May, um, fittingly, it's an emerald, which represents love and success. And, you know, I think em emeralds are green, so May is green. You know, all the flowers growing up, so makes a lot of sense to me. Zodiac signs for May are Taurus, April 20th through May 20th, and Gemini, May 21st through June 20th. And I am a Gemini, born June 8th, so... There you go, a little overlap right there. Uh, the birth flower for May is the lily of the valley. And in, here's another interesting fact. In any given year, no month ever begins or ends on the same day of the week as May does. Interesting. And also, May was once considered a bad luck, uh, bad luck month to get married. And there's a poem that says, Marry in May and you'll rue the day, which... I don't know, sounds kind of a little concerning to my brother who was May married on May 4th, 2013, but uh, they're still going strong, so yeah, it's just probably a superstition. Anyway, uh, let's talk about a little bit of historic moments in the month of May as several states became uh, states on the month of May, including our home state, Minnesota. It was named the 32nd state on May 11th, 1858. Uh, other states that were admitted to the Union, South Carolina, the 8th state on May 23rd, uh, 1788. Uh, Wisconsin became uh, the 30th state, May 29th, 1848. And Rhode Island was the 13th state on May 29th, 1790. Also on this date, the Empire State Building opened up to the public May 1st, 1931, so 91 years ago to, uh, this year. Uh, May 14th, 1804, Lewis and Clark began their, tr uh, their trip up the Missouri River, and also uh, the first regular air mail service in the United States began May 15th, 1918. Also on this, in the month of May, on May 20th, uh, 1932, so 90 years ago this month, Amelia Earhart flew across the Atlantic Ocean, marking the first solo flight by a woman. And finally, uh, here's another bit of trivia. M San Francisco's beautiful Golden Gate Bridge opened up May 27th, 1937, so 85 years of the Golden Gate Bridge. And also May is ALS Awareness Month, uh, Better Hearing and Speech Month, and National Stroke Awareness Month. So uh, we found out what makes May, May. I'll try to dig up some other cool facts and trivia, as I love to do that on the air and off the air. Take care, everybody. Have a good month of May. Peace.